Hello dear friends, welcome to the world of mathematics. It's me Srija Suresh and you are watching SS Math Solutions. In this video, uh, we are discussing some previous year questions of stated category 3 mathematics. Okay, let's go. Here is our question. Each edge of a cube is increased by 50 percentage. The percentage increase in the surface area of the cube. So each edge of a cube. So what is the actual edge we are taking here? A as the actual edge. So what is the surface area with the A as the edge? A edge means we know that the surface area of a cube is 6A square. Right. 6A square is the surface area of a cube. So percentage increase. So A changes to 50 percentage increased. So new edge is, new edge is 50 percentage of A. That is 50 percentage increased means we are taking 150 by 100. So actual A is 100. So 50 more increased means 150 by 100 A square. Sorry A. Okay. A is 50 percentage increased. From here we will get 0 and 0 cancel. 5 twos are 10. 5 threes are 50. 15. So, 3 by 2 A is the new edge. So, with the new edge, we can find the new surface area. So, new surface area is equal to or after increasing 50 percentage of edge, new surface area is 6A square. That is 6 into A new edge is 3 by 2 A. So, 3 square, 3 by 2 A square we got. So, we can write it as 6 into 6A square and uh, 6 into, okay, 3 square is 9 divided by 2 square is 4 a square. Okay. So we are writing it as 6 a square by 4 into 9. Just write like this. Now percentage of increase now we need to find. Percentage of increase means new surface area. Okay. New surface area minus old one. Okay. Divided by old. This is the percentage of increase. From here we can cancel all the 6a square here, right? 6a square and 6a square. From both the uh, terms we can take 6a square outside and cancel. So the balance is what you will get 9 by 4 minus 1 into 100. Sorry, here 100 also there. Okay, 9 by 4 in, minus 1 into 100. So we will get 9 minus Take the LCM. 9 minus 4 divided by 4 into 100 we got. Right? 9 minus 4 is 5. Then 4 and 100. 4 and 100 we can cancel with the 4. So 25 we will get. So 9 minus 4 is 5. So what the answer we got? 9 minus 4 is 5. 5 into 25 is 125. So percentage of increase is 125 percentage. Percentage of increase is 125 percentage. Okay, this much we needed. But I am telling a shortcut here. So, when you will get the, like this, percentage of increase. So, you can use this one. If you remember like this, this is the basic actual uh, step. Okay, I am just rubbing here. So, when you will get a percentage increase question, you can use this one. Percentage of increase is 2x plus x square by 100. If you remember this one, you can use this one. Okay, 2x plus x square by 100. Where x is how much percentage increased? Here 50 percentage increased, right? So we can write it as 2 into 50 divided by 50 square divided by 100. So 2 into 50 is 100. 50 square, that is 50 into 50 by 100, right? Okay, 0, 0 cancel. 5, 5 are 25. So 100 plus 25. 100 plus 25 is 125 percentage. Okay, this much is easy. If you remember this one, 2x plus x square by 100, you can use the percentage increase like this. Hope you understood. Here is our next question. The figure shows a right triangle and the perpendicular to the hypotenuse through the opposite vertex. Right? The figure below shows a right triangle and the perpendicular to the hypotenuse through the opposite vertex. What is the area of the triangle? We need to find the area of this triangle. So, this much only this is the right triangle and uh, here hypotenuse this one. This is H we know that. This is a triangle. This is right triangle. So, when we draw this perpendicular it will change to true triangle. Okay. With the, this part is 1 centimeter and this part is 4 centimeter. How to find this uh, area? So, when you will get like this we can apply uh, a theorem here. Okay. The theorem name is altitude on hypotenuse theorem. Okay. Altitude 
altitude on hypotenuse theorem altitude on hypotenuse theorem what is that so i am not drawing again so here i am using this one okay just rubbing this one so when actual theorem is that hypotenuse h is there with a right triangle when we draw a uh, perpendicular from um, this right triangle to the hypotenuse when we will get two again two right triangle yeah? and this part is x and this is y and when we denote it is as a mm, b c a b c okay this is b this full part is c and this is a okay this is the theorem when you will get this one that is you should remember this only when you will get a, a triangle a right triangle and this right triangle to this opposite vertex a hypotenuse hmm? that hypotenuse again make two triangle this is the case you can use this one what is this h h hypotenuse is equal to this product of this two okay this hypotenuse square is equal to this hypotenuse square is equal to product of this two this is the case h square is equal to x y hope you understood h square is equal to x y this is the um case h square is equal to x y hope you understood again these two triangles are similar triangle this is the other step okay three steps were there this this two triangles formed are uh, similar to this actual triangle and one more case is telling that a square this part a square is equal to this y into this c is equal and b square is equal to b square is equal to this x into c this is also the theorem saying altitude on hypotenuse theorem this much cases we can find okay so h square is equal to x y is there then these two triangles are similar to the original triangle and we can find a square is equal to y c and b square is equal to x c hope you understood this is the altitude on hypotenuse theorem now we come to the point just writing this our previous case okay this we got in the question 1 and this is 4 okay 1 and 4 okay now if we will get the h value we can find the area right area is equal to half bh from here on high alternate hypotenuse theorem we can find the h is equal to h square is equal to 1 into 4 h square is equal to x into y this is case h, h square is equal to x into y so h square is equal to 1 into 4 so h is equal to what root of 4 that is 2 h is equal to 2 we got so area area is equal to 1 by 2 into base is 1 base is 1 and 4 right so base is 1 plus 4 is 5 into hypotenuse is 2 so 2 2 are cancelled so area is equal to 5 area is equal to 5 centimeter square this is the answer Hope you understood. So this is the theorem says altitude on hypotenuse theorem. So here is our question value of 160 divided by 2 into 7 plus 160 divided by 7 into 12 plus 160 divided by 12 into 17 plus 160 divided by 22 into 27 plus 160 divided by 27 into 32. So this is the case. We can find this is a summation um, with the help of summation with the th terms arrangement then only we can find that is the actual case. But here I am telling a shortcut method. So everywhere 160 is common. So I am taking this is as 160 outside. Okay. 160 outside. Now everywhere 2 into 7, 7 into 12, 12 into 17. That case only we can apply this one. Okay. Everywhere 7, A into B, B into C, C into D, D into E. Like that repeating. And everywhere common difference is 5. 7 minus 2 is 5. 12 minus 7 is 5. 17 minus 12 is 5. Everywhere common difference is 5. That case only we can apply this one, okay? Or otherwise we need to uh, expand like with the summation symbol. We can arrange like that is the actual case. We need to apply other cases, okay? So here that is the uh, last number. This is ending with the 27 into 32. So we can take that 32. Which is the first one? Last number is 32 and the first number is 2. So just to subtract these both. 32 minus 2. Hope you understood. Divided by multiply this both first number into last number just to subtract big minus small the 
down just just multiply that both but need to multiply its common difference also that is very important okay everywhere common difference 7 minus 2 is 5 12 minus 7 is 5 17 minus 12 is 5 22 minus 17 is 5 everywhere 5 is a common difference that's why we can apply this one don't forget this okay you can apply here very easy 160 into 32 minus 2 is 30 divided by 2 into 5 into 32 okay just uh, solve this 2 5s are 10 10 into 3 is 30 then we can take 32 into 5 is 160 right so 5 into 3 15 is the answer uh, it the video will go to lengthy or otherwise i will show you how to uh, calculate the basic one how to originally how to calculate this one okay if you need that one just comment below i will explain explain with the next video okay if you need the original one or the actual case video we need just comment me okay okay hope you understood this one so we need to take the common if common number outside and the for last two digit minus first two digit divided by its multiplication its product into their common difference so every time you remember this one they are repeating like this and with the common difference okay so common difference is there and the first and the last two digit should multiply with that common difference you will get the answer hope you understood so this much only for today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe my channel for future videos.